Here's your daily sports rush from Sports Not for August 5th, 2024. Welcome to the Daily Sports Rush from Sports Not. I'm Scott Colbranson. Today, we're diving in headfirst into the heart-pounding action of the Olympics, NCAA scandals, and historic MLB losing streak. Buckle up. First up, Scotty Scheffler, the calm, collected golfer, pulled off the greatest closing round of his career to clinch the Olympic gold with a jaw-dropping 62. Down by four shots at the start, six shots behind early on the back nine, Scheffler birdied five of six holes to secure his victory. Picture this. Scheffler standing on the podium, tears streaming down, gold medal glistening. What a moment for the USA. Next, let's talk about the fastest man in the world, Noah Lyles. Delivering on his promise, Lyles snagged the first 100-meter gold for the U.S. in 20 years with a personal best of 9.784 seconds. He edged out Jamaica's Keyshane Thompson by a mere .005 seconds. Lyle's confidence, speed, and flash make him one to watch as he aims for more medals at the Olympics, potentially matching Usain Bolt's legendary status. Meanwhile, drama unfolds in Michigan as Coach Sharon Moore faces possible suspension in an NCAA sign-stealing scandal. Accused of deleting over 50 text exchanges with ex-staffer Connor Stallions, Moore's penalties could include a one-game suspension. This adds to the turbulence surrounding the Michigan football season. And finally, the Chicago White Sox hit rock bottom with their 20th consecutive loss on Sunday, falling to the Twins 13-7. Manager Pedro Gafal and his team are now tied for the third longest losing streak in MLB history. Despite the struggle, the Sox showed heart, clawing back from an 8-0 deficit to make it a game. But for now, their season remains a cautionary tale of baseball woes. All right, so there you have it. It is the Sports Rush from Sports Not. We appreciate you guys being with us. Do us a favor. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out these stories and more up on sportsnot.com, and I will see you here tomorrow.